What's up? Welcome back to Waterman Lifestyle, where there's no separation between life on land and life in the water. Swell has arrived. I just got back from a walk to the beach, resting up for tomorrow. It's heavy on shore, but it's so amazing when there's swell in the water, the energy it brings, the electricity on the beach. I left there with my heart pumping and I'm ready. So the wind's supposed to turn around tomorrow. So we're gonna we're gonna hit the surf. I'm gonna take you along for the ride, see how it goes. What all the work's for, how well you surf, affects how you live on land. No separation, let's go. Today's the day, it's morning, swells here. Um, this is gonna be a great opportunity for me to share with you a bunch of hacks um, that I use to help give myself more energy for surfing because I was sick the last week. Kids were back to school, everyone got sick, both my kids, my wife, I didn't get it. I'm strutting around the house like my immune system is unshakable <laughs> and then after they all got better bam i got it and so i've just been some super low energy i haven't worked out properly in you know but a week or eating properly either so swells here it doesn't matter going anyways so uh i'm gonna show you all the little things that i do step one actually something that i've been doing forever is what do you eat before you surf right something super important is like i operate best on proteins and fats so like typical breakfast for me is eggs some kind of meat but those take a lot of energy to digest so digesting your body breaking down food and distributing the nutrients takes a ton of energy one thing that can hurt digestion too is too is not chewing properly so this a smoothie is very easily digestible but for me if i only eat fruits or vegetables that's not very great energy for me so i add a bone broth protein mix so it gets tons of protein and tons of fat in this the brand i use is called paleo valley i've tried tons of bone broths that have like horrible smell and even worse aftertaste this one is completely um odor and taste free so it's so good and it gives me energy forever don't have to digest the only problem is i use frozen fruit um and i find that that when you drink something cold it, it takes it takes longer to digest because it has to warm it up before it distributes it so warm room temperature fruit is better um, I'll say that. Other than that, one really important thing I'm gonna do now is do a really long stretch. I know a lot of people don't have time to do tons of huge stretches before surfing, so I'll give you the quick routine when we get to the beach as well too. So that's it. Got a bit of a drive. I'm gonna check probably three spots max. The main spot works best at a certain tide. The kids have gymnastics today during the tides. I'm not gonna score the main spot, but here what we got. Mid, mid session snack, coffee. I make uh, lattes because they're less acidic. I found drip coffee makes me feel horrible. Make these at home. It's mixed with more milk, oat milk. So it doesn't make me feel so dried out, dehydrated, and it like more of a slow release for the caffeine. So it's not a spike in anxiety. It makes it way more smooth. And of course, the water, mineralized, alkalized water. If you don't drink enough water, this is your reminder right here. Like a huge slam, full glass of water right now. And yeah, we're gonna drive for a bit, like the spot, see what's happening. Man, we're at the first spot. It is looking kind of wonky, but it's like perfect light offshore. I'll flip it around. Oh yeah, when the swell fucks up the road. <laughs> Love it. That was crazy, all the logs in front of the road. That's why you warm up before you get to the beach. Just a bunch of <laughs> impromptu deadlifts and shoulder presses, <laughs> that was awesome. I don't know if you can see out there. This is the spot that doesn't really work, the tide, but it's pumping way out there. There's some way out deep. This spot will be good in a bit. I'm gonna drive down here and check out some more spots though. Man, there's just something about the search, man. Just checking the spots, making note of the tide, the wind, the swell direction. and. It's kind of cool to do it alone too, man. I just love being out here by myself. I don't know. I, I do my best thinking when I'm out at the beach, especially in the water. My best ideas coming to me when I'm surfing. Yeah, awesome. So I just drove for a few hours, came back to the original spot, take my mind off it. It's, look like it's picking up, um, but I was wandering around here and I found these, I don't know, they look like they're edible mushrooms. I'm not really sure. Let's see. Oh. All right, we're back. Starting to like what I see. Patience paid off. We're gonna get ready right now. 
Okay, I'm gonna start off with the 7.6. It's not huge, but also it's got the GoPro mount on the nose. I don't wanna put it on my other board because it's too new and it looks kind of shitty. But this one's good though too. It's a thruster, so it's fast and we'll get more waves. It's not huge yet, but I'll probably switch to the short board in a bit. Right now we're gonna suit up. Quick warm up because I've been driving for hours and then we're in. All right, we're just getting ready here and complete honesty, the most important equipment, except for the surfboard. Like I, I've forgotten wax and been fine. I've forgotten my leash and been okay. I've forgotten my wetsuit, I've forgotten my water and that sucks. But I forget this and there's no one around now, but if you got to change, get naked in public, not good. So this is the most valuable thing. Had it forever, huge hole in it. So don't leave home without it. It's starting to look really good. I was moving so fast, I forgot I was gonna film the quick warm up for you. So the best pre-surf warm up of all time. So once you have your wetsuit on or your shorts, directly before you get in the water, called the two arm cast. So go up behind your head, stretches the front, stretches the shoulders, and that's an inhale, and then you exhale and back. And this really stretches your shoulders too, and it starts to warm up your legs in that like power zone of the squat. And you do as many reps as you can. So big inhale, Bonus tip, hold your breath one time. So exhale all your air. Lungs are empty, hold your breath. Do those until you get a medium to strong urge to breathe because it warms up your cardio system because your heart's a muscle, your diaphragm's a giant pump. You can't go out there and shock it. When I, do, when I forget to do the breath hold and I get out there, I feel like, oh, I'm kind of out of breath until I hold my duck dive a few times, then I feel better because you got to start getting that oxygen rich blood throughout your body. So it takes warming up process. It's like warming up an engine. So it's super important. Do one good breath hold. You can do multiple and that will really fire you up. The second thing is something called piston breathing. I would, I would put piston breathing in the advanced technique category because it's easy to do wrong. But right before you get in, you got to breathe the diaphragm and it oxygenates your blood. The reason it's advanced, because it's easy to do wrong. You could um, make yourself dizzy or not take fully enough inhales and not do it properly. So use that one sparingly um, and just try it and see how you feel before exercise, before you do it, before getting in the water. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm out there. Whew, that got heavy. That was so fun. I got a few. Pretty sure I got one on the GoPro, I'm not sure. Man, I got raked by my fin. So I came in, there was lots of blood. I thought it was a really deep cut, but actually just a scrape on the surface i'm gonna go check the other spot that was fun it's pumping out there that was a lot of work so fun all right so i only got one wave on the gopro it wasn't one of the good ones one of the meteoric ones my uh, my gopro skills need to improve but anyway so this spot it is so sick when it's working it's a point break left only works at a certain tide changes super super fast and uh this day insiders were sick but there were so many big sets and this one was a set wave but it's so fast and i got caught behind and you can see i'm just pumping to stay in it i was like right behind the pocket and anyways you just it'll give you the idea of what this wave is like um and it's so so fun and i'm the only one out there too which is like you can't beat that so just so much repositioning yeah and then i'm already behind long boards always look so funny on the nose camera because it moves so much when you pump <laughs> and then I'm caught behind anyways. So that gives you an idea of the wave, what it looks like. I got to figure out a better filming solution because uh, I don't know. I want to share more of these awesome waves that I get out here. So anyways, it'll improve. <laughs> Woo, second session just went down the main spot, man, GoPro died. I didn't get any footage, but it was big, bigger than I thought. So the short board kind of a little undergun. So the seven, six is kind of perfect for that. Those kind of eight foot waves, man. Let me describe it to you. Started low energy, did all the energy hacks that I know that I was just talking about in this video. I always say like nine out of 10 energy levels, nonstop paddling on the treadmill, fast recovery, bunch of waves back and forth or back to back, man. I'm, I'm so amazed with how good I felt. I guess the best I felt all year, super strong, loving it. <laughs> the thing about training is like, Sometimes it's hard to do. Sometimes you don't feel like doing it, but I've never in my life regretted putting in the work. What you do on land affects how you feel in the water. How you feel in the water affects how you feel on land. I'm feeling like a million bucks right now. So hope this uh, gets you motivated to do the work today. Go out, get some waves when the next swell hits. Hey, thanks for watching that video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And the reason I'm making these videos is because I want to inspire you to live a happier, healthy life through surfing. And I really, really want you to become a part of our Waterman Method program. It's our premier program and it's what we're using to transform surfers' lives all over the world. Our success rate is insanely high. All you have to do is bring a passion for surfing and I guarantee you'll be doing the best surfing in your life very, very quickly. 
quickly. In fact, I want to take all the risk out of it. So if you start our program and you do not double your wave count in the first 30 days, I'll give you all your money back and you get to keep the paddle bands for free and you'll eventually double your wave count anyways. Let me take all the risk, make me prove it that I can transform your surfing, your health and your happiness with our training methods and that's it. So if you want more information, there's another free training video down below in the description. It's called Three Steps to Thousands of Waves. Watch that video and at the end of the video, it'll explain to you how you can become a part of our program. Thanks a lot for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.